Why do you persist in such false accusations? I have given my time freely to answer your questions, and I am rewarded only with insolence and contempt. Not the respect I am due as your true and rightful king. The Tower of London is a royal palace. It is entirely fitting that princes should live within its walls. But we know now that these boys are not princes. They are illegitimate, and so why allow them to remain here? It is simple. It is for the safety and security of this realm. We have all lived through many years of bloody conflict and civil strife in England. Many of you, like me, have fought on the battlefields of Barnet or of Tewkesbury. Do we really wish to see such bloody strife again? These boys could be used as the figureheads of armies. Powerful noble families, men like Henry Tudor, could use them to place themselves on the throne. And that is why, for the safety of us all, they must remain here. I did not send soldiers to break the traditions of sanctuary. I sent the Archbishop of Canterbury to speak to Elizabeth Woodville. Even she saw the sense that Richard would be safest with his brother under my protection within the walls of the Tower of London. It is sad but true that my brother King Edward had a weakness. Women. And we have all heard the evidence given by Dr. Ralph Shah that Edward was already married to Lady Eleanor Butler before ever he took Elizabeth Woodville as his wife. And so they were never truly married. Their children are illegitimate. And as the good doctor says, bastard slips shall not take deep root. Have a care how you speak to me. The tower has many vacant chambers that can be filled should the need arise. I am going to retire to my quarters until you can tame this unruly rabble, and they agree to ask more sensible questions of their king.